Hello there guys, Coaster Chal here, Donks to Born, but built for theme parks and welcome to a theme park newsroom update from the Alton Towers Resort and they have revealed brand new promotional images for the Gangster Granny The Ride and the Gangster Granny Rooms in the Alton Towers Hotel and this is part of the announcement of the official opening date for the brand new attraction. We're going to talk about the history of this ride, where is it located, what area is it in, what's happening to the area, give you a bit of a general summary now we're in the final stages of this project and you guys know on this channel when we're in the final stages of a project we have to go right back to the beginning we'll probably do that in another video as well separately uh, but there we go guys so please 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 if you love this video make sure you like the video comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video we are getting closer and closer to 2,300 subs and we're on the road to 4,000 subs by the end of the year and 1 million views so please 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 keep watching out for all that also guys check the description down below where not only can you find links to uh, the TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and the Discord server but also you can find links at the Google Forms where you can submit your video ideas and content suggestions as well I'm also going to link Alton Towers Twitter so you can go and give that a follow in the description down below if you wish and for now guys let's have a look at Gangster Granny the Ride behind the scenes so Alton Towers Resort have confirmed that they're going to be opening Gangster Granny the Ride on May the 17th, 2021. May 17th, wow, it's under a month away. Uh, so very exciting news there from the Alton Towers Resort. The PR team sent over uh, to me some images which you can find on the uh, refreshed Gangster Granny website, the Alton Towers Resort website. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a wonderful family attraction. It's going to look like a wonderful dark ride. David Williams has done a wonderful job on this attraction. And uh, for those of you who need a little bit of history, uh, this area of the world of David Williams, which the ride will sit in, was previously known as Cloud Cuckoo Land, but it had a past before that name as well. So, the World of David Williams first opened in the 1981 season as Talbot Street, and then that ran right up until 1993, where the land of make-believe came in. Um, of course, it came in from the old Talbot Street, they brought in the Phase 1 of the project, Phase 2 in 1994 with Toyland Tours, and then from 1997 to 2008, Cred Street was involved, and that had a load of history behind it. Uh, it had the old Cred Street Playground, of course, being one of the attractions. Um, Toyland Tours became Charlie and the Chocolate Factory in the last couple of years of Cred Street's lifespan. But then the 2009 season rolled around, and Cred Street Playground was part of the Cloud Cuckoo Land opening in the 2009 season. The Crest Street Playground became Wobble World, an interactive play structure. Then Wobble World closed around 2015-2016 as part of the three-year Towers Loving Care program, or TLC, for those of you who don't need to know all the facts. And uh, Towers Loving Care program uh, was definitely a refresh of the whole park over a three-year period, which concluded in 2018, 2016-2018, with the conclusion of Wicker Man opening in the Flumes location in Mutiny Bay. Now, of course, Wobble World did open its building for a couple of years uh, towards the end of its, well, after Wobble World exited the uh, park, with the House of Monsters Scare Zone, a family scare maze as part of the Scarefest event. I've seen, I've said scare too many times. Um, but yeah, the House of Monsters, traveling through different rooms. This guy wants to be a vlogger. Uh -huh. who, who reminds you of that? And um, yeah, this guy that wants to be a vlogger, stepping into a haunted house, doing different challenges, jump scares for the families, and overall it was a wonderful attraction. Then towards 2019-2020, House of Monsters did not operate for that scare fest in 2019. And uh, there was rumours surrounding what could happen to the building. And then we got the news in, 20, in 2019, or around 2019, about the world of David Walliams. We got the news, uh, the Wobble World was to be transformed to this brand new attraction building. Gangster Granny the Ride was coming in, uh, it was announced for the 2020 season, then it was delayed for because of COVID-19 for the 2021 season and then now finally on May 17th we finally get to experience for the first time Gangster Granny the Ride an all new 360 degrees whirling adventure and as you can take part with Ben and Granny on the biggest international heist to steal the crown jewels. So there we go ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, that is looking uh, at the brilliant brand new 
uh, Gangster Granny the ride. We also showed you some images of the Gangster Granny rooms inside the hotel. Don't they look amazing? Uh, I love the look of this attraction. We, 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 we've, we've been covering this, you know, attraction since we first heard the rumors about Cloud Cuckoo Land going. And we, I think we did a discussion video, first of all, I think months before we got any news about Cloud Cuckoo Land. Um, we did like a discussion video, what is the future of Cloud Cuckoo Land, a new IP, uh, an original theme, a refresh of the area. We discussed all about that back in the, the early days of Coaster Chow, where we barely hit 1,000 subs. We, I can't remember that. Um, I need to go and, I need to do like, I need to go and re-watch, I need to do a Coaster Chow reacts and watch back some of my old videos from a couple of years ago now. And, um, I might do that in a couple of years to be fair. And, um, yeah, we did that video a few months before we got the first bit of details. And we knew that Cloud Cuckoo Land was set to close over like the summer period, going into the autumn period, may not operate during Scarefest, and we sort of talked about potential stuff. There was a couple of brands being chucked in there, Legoland, uh, Paddington Bear. We, 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 we heard about a Paddington-themed area. We heard about like a Lego World area going to Alton Towers in the Cloud Cuckoo Land bit. We also heard it was going to Thorpe Park as well in the Angry Birds bit. And we heard loads of different rumors and speculation about all that. And we discussed, you know, what, rides and attractions could be given lego themes and then we got the news of the world david williams that was also a brand being chucked in there as well i sort of cancelled that out at first because um lego and paddington were the big rumors and you know the the the, the deal for the williams will kind of broke down a couple of years ago because the negotiations fell through so we kind of cancelled that out at first because i thought well they cancelled the negotiations so it's probably not going to happen because of the negotiations falling through but they renegotiated they got the deal sorted and we found out it was the world of David Williams and um, I knew the Wobble World building would have something to do with it. I didn't think they would exclude the theatre space for now. I didn't think the Twin Toad sp tool space would be excluded for now from a new flat ride or some kind of new attraction as part of the area. Maybe that is the future. Maybe the Royal Carousel could potentially either go to a different part of the land next season in 2022 uh, or 2023 or move to a different area of the park and maybe that twill and total space can get transformed to a new attraction space like maybe bring in the i think the book's called grandpa's big escape something like that grandpa's great escape um and they could have like a flying scooters ride from larson um, where it's themed around that story that would be nice in that particular area so maybe in the future they'll use that space they'll use the theatre space etc and um, you know when we first got the news about the Grangster Granny the ride and, the, and we, we sort of looked at the Garmin Dell ride system wonderful attraction system absolutely brilliant and you know we definitely heard a lot of exciting things about this and I think the Absolutely, Gangster Grind of the Ride is going to be one of the best family dark rides of all of Alton Towers. Right up there with Hex. Right up there. Um, and I think this puts Alton Towers in a good future stead because I think this leads them on to good future projects, grand future projects. I think the Secret Weapon is going to be on its way in the next few years. I think that Nemesis Refurbishment could be on its way. I think Jewel could be the next ride to get a massive refurbishment as well. I think that they could do some wonderful stuff to other areas of the park, bring in some new CBeebies Land rides, some new rides everywhere else. A couple of attractions might go from the park. We might get our last rides on them at some point. I think Alton Towers has got a very exciting future in this generation, in this decade. And once COVID's gone, you know, we'll be able to celebrate this decade a lot more, more freely, shall we say will be i think the the effects of what's happened in this pandemic will be here for years but um i think we'll hopefully try and get back to normality in the next few years and we'll work through this decade as best we can and um you know i think Alton towers has a very bright future and it all starts with the world of david williams i think it leads them on to future projects such as other new rides and attractions refurbishments of current attractions land new areas refurbished areas and you know i think alton towers definitely have a bright future starting from this in this decade so it should be interesting to see what the decade brings for alton towers resort and of course we'll sum it up uh at, in 2029 at the end of 2029 uh which is a long way to go before then but we'll sum it all up in that and uh, for now guys please 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 love the video if you loved it comment down below your thoughts and opinions subscribe and for now guys my name is coach shell kate living the coast life Shout out to the Alton Towers team for all your support on the channel. It really does mean a lot, Alton Towers. Um, they're really good. They're really lovely people. And for now, guys, keep living the coast life. Thank you very much. Have a thrill day. Come on, Magic Towers.